said, hopefully at our next place we can get organized. And Kyle said, what? You don't think we're organized? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we are. We're probably organized. Enough? What are we going to call this one? It needs a fancy, interesting name. How about like something like the dark back bonefish? I like big kick titty coconut better. Lemon shark bait. With Fanta and? Ambergris Sunrise Hotel Special. Right. We're gonna get big titty in there. Hmm. Done. Now you gotta taste it. Now I need to taste it? Yeah, it might not be good. It's terrible, it's good. What the fuck is that? <laughs> After getting organized, we walk across the street where our shuttle boat is there waiting. The owner of Kyle Francis Fish Farm and Fly picked us up and took us on about a 20 minute boat ride off the grid fish camp. Uh, there's a couple other guests in the camp. Uh, Andrew, the he's an oyster farmer from New England. And I forget the other two gentlemen's name. Michael, Michael and Eric, I believe. And a couple of ologists from Houston. Uh, Geo and a gynecol, I believe. This is our cabin. I see. How is the cabin? Before I make a mess, you better give the tour. I'm trying to. That's what's happening. Looks pretty legit. Brand new. Yes. New paint. New everything. I think a lot of this. Outdoor shot. Just keep getting in the frame. Ah, you wanted to try to film with the one? Let's play in this canoe. Let's play or in this canoe. If you wanted the other way to try to fuck around with it this evening. Since we're right outside of camp tonight anyway, maybe this canoe's the move. That's how I am. I don't have a don't have the real strong preference. After getting settled in and getting a little bit of lunch, we decided to get out on the water for a couple hours in the afternoon. Just stayed in the the home key cove, Kayo, whatever you call it. Uh, they recommended we just take out the stand up paddle boards to get our sea legs, so that's what we did. Colin Adventures. They say these things are stable. Don't know if I agree. Try to cast you? No, is it impossible? Don't know. These things definitely are wob more wobbly than I expected. Or maybe I just got to get used to it. I felt like my stand-up paddleboard was more stable. I think it's a matter of just a wide stance and knowing that it's not going to be flat. It's kind of like once you get a feeling of what it is and don't tense up so much. No bonefish, but I found a dock. Time for a beer. <laughs> Maybe get a shark pass through here. Scouts down there. Doing scout things. See if Scott got one or if he's just climbing in his boat. I can't tell. Uh-uh. 
still warm here, so I just set up shop, but I was actually going up to go hang out on that dock with you. <laughs> and then go out around that shoreline out there. The, the last fish I saw is when I walked across this island and was casting out in here, but then I lost him. Didn't spot him, did I? No. On the board. Cuda. <laughs> I came off. You got a good view of him. I wonder if he broke me off. I can't believe like that he would have... Uh, that was a nice one. You saw him too? Didn't break him. That was cool though. I watched him. I put it in front of him. And I waited until it got kind of close. And I twitched it. And it looked like he was going to miss it. Or like not see it. So I twitched it harder. And then he did a right turn. He's like, oh, what's this? I stopped, pulled, and he was getting on it and just chasing it. Finally, I set it there and then slowly pulled, and he was on it. So, here. <laughs> like a natural. Hubba dubba, hubba dubba, hubba dubba. Who? Team building experience. Oh, that doesn't work if you don't pull on it, don't ask. <laughs> you can't help it, can you? Huh? You can't help it, can you? Well, just trying to act normal. That was normal. Did I get a rope? Is this rope over here? What are you going to tie to? Ah, I'm looking. There you go. No, that's not normal. Shift this way, which I don't think it will, but it does. Your boat's gonna get squished. Can't catch any fish? Drink your dock beers. Pull up to the dock and drink beer. It's a pretty cool dock. Redundancy. But you didn't have this clip after I had a big bonefish on that screamed, dragged back towards Kyle's kayak. Sweet stand up paddleboard action. With my old man cane. Haven't got eaten by a crocodile yet. Might just see where the current takes us. It's going in. Might have to go back in a cove. See if we get any deeper. After a few hours of trial and error and sort of figuring out the paddle boards. I figured we would ride the incoming tide back through the channel towards camp. That would give us a little bit of time before sundown to maybe try that skinu, see how the operation worked, and uh, have a few bellicans and hang out with camp. Fortunately for me, nobody recorded the skinu practice. It was quite the show, and I'm sure everyone got a kick out of watching me attempt to push pull that little canoe but it didn't go all that great and I, at the end of it I felt like I had failed the test. It wasn't long afterwards until Mario the camp chef said dinner was ready. Stewed chicken and rice and beans transitioned to bottom shelf rum and fishing stories after the sun went down. It wasn't easy calling it a night but we had another big day tomorrow. No. Oh, that's gonna be the day. Today's gonna be the day. I'm gonna get a tiny I'm gonna get a needle. Yeah. 
day and been in the yard and been, we're, we're uh, uh, persistent enough that that might be dug a hole under the fence or pull the board loose or something like that. But then uh, uh, they immediately ran to the resort next door. Uh, not something in the back of our resort, suitable, uh, that is messy enough to roll in. Bar set up, so doing some filming before all the rest of the group shows up and I don't look like a dork any more than I usually do. You got a coffee fork. How many bonefish is Kyle gonna catch today? Five times as many as I've caught all trip. You're gonna catch any bonefish. <laughs> We're gonna get him today. Skanoo, in no skanoo. Ways. We might just walk down the shoreline right out here. Hard telling. Oh, there's Scott's fancy TFO. Mario pulled out the stops again as we sat down and made a game plan for the day. The way I have it set up is uh, laminated maps of the different areas we'd be at. Uh, I think we were going to be taken to the second channel. Final words? Final words? <laughs> Should have took this canoe. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. They did not approve of your polling skills. I'll practice my canoeing polling later tonight. <laughs> this morning, Andres dragged us out. They gave us a little detailed map of the specific area to take with us. Tide is really low. <laughs> Are we at low tide right now? Today's plan was to head the five or six miles up to Second Channel. Andres would drop us off and we'd be there for the day. Beautiful morning today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> what time should we worry about you guys? Huh? What time should we worry about you guys? I think we'll just. Do we have lunch in here? Or not? Yeah, we have lunch. Water. Yeah, well, we'll probably just be back at camp at before dark, okay. an hour before yeah. four or something. I don't know. Five. If we don't paddle back, we'll call you. Okay. Yep. That's good. Yep. Thanks. Oh. Thank, Thank you.
Huh, I didn't ask either. I like guess we get talk to him tonight. If we want to go further up or do we have to stay in our, our zone? No, I, I don't think we're in overlapping danger. I think the other spot that they had that wasn't like on this map, it was like across there or something like that point. Like we're, we're probably not going there. Yeah. We're going to go up here past the blue hole, dick around this shoreline, come back around and then after that, I'll probably get the map out and look a little closer. Should we walk a little bit? Yeah, might as well. I mean, we're anchored up and there's boat fish. Oh, look at the flamingo. I don't think I got that on soon enough, but... Pink flamingos flying around. Heard alligator noises. Let's go investigate. It's a very uninterested fish. thinks he sees one. Could just be a cloud. Let's see if he can avoid me and the stick at the same time. Oh. This is the setup. You see one, you stick your pole in the ground, he swims away, and then you cast where he used to be. All right, let's see what Mario packed us today. Lunch, beers, a Schweppes, some waters. After my Schweppes, I got a hi hibernate off a of beer. Hibernate? Hibernate. Stay hibernated. Stay hibernated with Schweppes. What was that? Feels like I got some oil in the bottom in the bottom of my oil pan. Maybe pull the drain plug. That's what I put on my fishing gloves. See? No fishing gloves today. I might do that tomorrow. But uh yeah, we're over halfway through the first full day. Still on zero bone fish. <laughs> also zero permit and zero tarpon. But we got a trigger. And a barracuda. I'm counting my barracuda. That might be my prize fish. Trip. Starting to wish I took a picture with my trigger fish. <laughs> I thought I'd have plenty of bonefish. Mm. But if you ever want to go on a paddle boarding trip, this is a unique, it's a fun <laughs> to explore. <laughs> We're gonna put this on their website for a promo. <laughs> <laughs> Paddleboarding adventures, yes. Bone yeah. fishing adventures, yeah. Paddleboarding with a chance of bonefish. Their anchor systems. A, a hard chance. May or may not rip off upon deployment. Scott's looks beefier than mine. <laughs> Zero issues yesterday, got a different board. Fucker fell right off the top. I don't, I don't, I think we're gonna argue when they talk us out of this canoe next time. Oh yeah, I think we will too. If we get back in the daylight, we'll try to play with it. Like <laughs> I figure we can mess around with it for a full day and I feel like something out. In Scott's mind, he was gonna learn when he got out there. In their minds, they watched what we did in two minutes yeah. and said no. <laughs> there he goes, off into the wilderness with his toilet paper. They're crocodiles. That's not the right call for a crocodile. The only one I know. Are you gonna hide enough in the bush or should I turn the camera off? You can turn it off, I'm not going much <laughs> Wait till you stop. This clip's making the video. I 
should switch him boards right now since his anchor system works better than mine. I think he'd notice. Are you gonna turn the camera off? I'm gonna poop. Meet Flamingo. Can't catch fish, but we can paddleboard after stingrays. Or a rock. All right, I can't catch him. He's the fastest stingray alive. Whoa, Barracuda. We saw him munch that guy. Well, that was second, so you had to tell the bear spray story. Off into the sunset. Hopefully before the rain comes. Oh, the old camel over there who doesn't drink water besides in the morning wants water now. I was promised his second water bottle. He kept it, and now I'm dehydrated and dying. Don't think I'm gonna make it. Saw three flamingos today. Look at that sunset. Well, we needed a highlight for the first full day. So we pulled up to the dock for a dock beer. Gotta stay hibernated. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> the hibernation. <laughs> oh, what you talking about? I caught 12 bunkers today. Three little birds sat on my doorstep. We made it! Right on time! Nice! Well, uh, yeah, you guys just grab your gear and we'll take care of the rest of this. Man, it was beautiful though. Yeah, pretty out there. Very nice day. Yeah, so you guys did see some bones? Oh yeah! Da, 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 da. Let's see. Hey, hey. How you doing? Got some good push paddling in today. <laughs> Feeling uh, good. Uh, and <laughs> little sun, little well, sun. I see. Got the GoPro. I see going. GoPros going here. Unfortunately, <laughs> you, oh, it is still on too. Hey, I have to tell the story. <laughs> Man, we slammed and I couldn't even keep track anymore how we yeah. caught. We lost count at what, so 150 or so. Of what? <laughs> Mosquitoes? <laughs> <laughs> Clouds rolling over. <laughs> Missed chances. Oh, yeah. Recap. Recap? Yeah. I still got my cap on. No. Oh. That's going on there. So today, we got up early, had a wonderful breakfast. Our plan to take this canoe out was um, shot down by the guy that knew better. I said, you guys don't want to take that canoe out. So we got back on the boards and went miles on the boards. It was fun. Scared a lot of bonefish. Fair number of them. It wasn't a, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, didn't catch any of them. Came back, docked beer, um, hibernated ourselves. Um, probably need to hibernate better tomorrow. Learned some lessons at dinner tonight, talking to the guy, thinking that we need to look a little further ahead, and also when we scare our fish, which is probably just going to happen anyway, that they will come back 
I need to be more patient. I still don't think I believe him. But we told him tonight we're doing the canoe tomorrow. <laughs> Hell or high water. And see if he talks us out of it. <laughs> and it's supposed to be really windy tomorrow. I'll ask him again in the morning when exactly specific. I should have done that tonight. Why particularly he thought we should be on the school. Full day one. Or day three, depending on how you count them.